chest x-ray is clear, which we knew, and she said, but we found some masses. And I said, no, we're here for a food allergy. And she said, no, this is Hugo and date of birth, and yes, no, we've found some masses in his abdomen. And I said, what, what do you mean, tumours? And she said, yes. And I said, well, cancer? And she said, possibly. It happens to other people. It doesn't happen to you. It doesn't happen to anybody you know. But it happened to us, and it was an absolute king hit. It just, the bottom fell out of my world. And when we saw him, what we discovered is not just that he had neuroblastoma, but that he had multiple um, tumours that were neuroblastoma that had developed throughout his body. So whereas normally we might see a kid who has neuroblastoma, a lump that forms in one place, and sometimes that can spread, in his case, literally, there were lumps everywhere. His body was filled with multiple tumours which had all developed separately, and each of which was a different type of neuroblastoma. When we saw the size of the tumours when, when we first got scanned and x-rayed, they would have been huge. They would have had a massive impact on his life. I slept every night with him that he was in hospital, um, except when he was in intensive care and they won't let you sleep there, so you have to come away and leave. That was the hardest time for me, was leaving him there with, and he was in a bad way when he was in there, and not being able to be beside him. There was a lot of emotions, there was a lot of disbelief. We went through almost a grief process and I can remember having a conversation with you early on. I said, if he dies, I don't want him buried. Um, I, I don't want his little body in the ground all by himself. I don't want him buried. Um, and I said to you, look, if I'm not in a position, if I'm not in a right frame of mind, promise me you won't be buried. Hugo still has neuroblastoma left in his body, but what we've seen over time is when we measure the activity of that neuroblastoma, it's becoming less and less active. Ultimately, what we want to do is find new discoveries and new treatments in the lab, but it's not good enough just to do the laboratory research. We have to be able to translate that to the clinic to make sure that that directly benefits the children who today are needing new treatments. Not all neuroblastomas are alike. There are some that respond to standard therapy, but there are then the tumour types that we call high-risk neuroblastoma. And for those children, their survival rate today, even with the best treatments that the doctors can give them, is less than 50%. For them, this personalised medicine program that allows us to characterise their tumour, the biology of their tumour, to work out which particular drugs are going to have the greatest chance of working, that's what's going to make the difference for children like Hugo. He's still here at the moment. Yes, he still has cancer, but it's completely changed us as a family. Like, yes, Jason was made redundant, but he now has a job where he's home for the majority of the time. He spends more time with his kids than any dad I know. Just the little things like going to the park, going to the beach, it's just refocused us. When you see him, around other people, he's not a shy, a retiring sort of child. He's, he's very outgoing and he'll, um, he'll think nothing of getting on a table and having a dance. It's Nike! It's, it's amazing to see him now, to see him growing up, becoming so playful and active, uh, knowing when we first met him what an uncertain future he had with, you know, disease throughout his body. 20 years ago, they would have done nothing and Hugo would have died. 
even 10 years ago, they would have gone with everything they had and he would have died because of the toxicity. The fact that we've got three beautiful children is all down to the research that's got into, into cancer and the treatment that Hugo's had. We get to bring our son home and he's still here. And without ongoing research into cancers and cancer you know, treatments, there's going to be a lot less little Hugos running around. <laughs>